Hello, I'm Ben Proctor with NECI's Reliability Solutions Group. Our team helps plant maintenance and facilities teams execute predictive maintenance programs. We have a broad portfolio of technologies and service offerings that help you be more proactive with your maintenance strategies. Let's take a look at Emerson's AMS Asset Monitor. This device would be mounted near an asset or group of assets that are close to each other and sensor inputs would be wired directly to the input cards inside. Each system consists of an onboard processor, up to 12 I.O. modules and a dual Ethernet interface with Modbus and OPC UA options available for digital I.O. communications. The onboard processor provides built-in analytics to determine fault codes. This Edge Analytics device processes data and runs logic locally to make a determination of machine health. The onboard processor in AMS Asset Monitor can determine several common faults such as imbalance, misalignment, bearing defects, and other very specific machine conditions, as shown on this slide. This is key functionality that is enabled by Emerson's long history of vibration analysis expertise. Spectrum and waveform data are calculated locally in the processor, and built-in algorithms review that data and present clear results indicating the problem and recommended corrective actions to resolve the issue. We'll talk more about this as we get into the demo. The I.O. system is modular in nature, allowing for any combination of I.O. cards. This system contains seven piezoelectric input cards for accelerometers, an RTD input, a thermocouple input, an analog input for additional process measurements such as pressure, temperature, or flow, a digital input, and a digital output. Any combination of cards may be used based on individual application requirements. If more than 12 I.O. channels are required, additional asset monitors may be connected via Ethernet. The built-in Modbus interface can also be used to integrate additional process inputs digitally. Ethernet can be either wired or wireless using an optional wireless Ethernet router. Let's take a look at the equipment we're monitoring. Here we have a motor connected to a flywheel. We have mounted a weight on the flywheel which is causing an imbalance. We have also mounted an accelerometer on each bearing of the motor, which are going to give us vibration readings and you will see how the AMS Asset Monitor diagnoses the imbalance. Now let's look at the onboard web browser interface and see the machine health data available inside the AMS Asset Monitor system. Upon login, the user will be brought to the dashboard homepage. From here, we can quickly see asset status as well as the overall asset health trends. As you can see under asset status, we have one total asset, the motor demo we just showed you. Currently the motor is shown as OK. Let's click into it for more details. Currently the motor is not running, so no asset health issues are shown. Underneath each asset we can see which individual factors are affecting overall machine health, based on the analytics, shown on the left, and the machine measurements, shown on the right. Now let's see what happens when we turn the motor on. Now you can see a few things have changed. The health score of our asset dropped and changed from green to red, indicating a critical issue. Both vibration sensors are showing elevated readings. The onboard analytics have determined the issue to be a problem with balance. Currently, the other analytics that were enabled for this asset are green, with a health score at or near 100%, indicating no issues with alignment, bearing fault, lubrication, or structural looseness. Now that you've seen how the system performs, let's take a look at the configuration for the AMS Asset Monitor. The setup process is user-friendly and the built-in machine templates allow you to set up your system quickly and easily right out of the box. On our machine, we've chosen to monitor the inboard bearing in the vertical axis and the outboard bearing in the horizontal axis. As you can see, there are a variety of rotating equipment templates to choose from. For I.O. configuration, each I.O. module is automatically sensed by the AMS Asset Monitor, based on type of module installed. Here you can see, for example, that the first seven slots have VIP ASO modules for accelerometers. On each accelerometer channel, 
live measurement, waveform, and spectrum data is displayed. To wrap up, let's review how information can be delivered to users to take action. In addition to the dashboard we've been looking at, machine health data can also be brought into any OPC UA or Modbus client for trending and alerting. This could include pretty much any historian, SCADA, building management system, or automation system. The Modbus interface can also be used to bring in process inputs such as speed from a site system. Connection to the AMS Asset Monitor can be made via hardwired Ethernet or Wi-Fi, or via cellular if connection to a site network isn't feasible. NECI can provide integration services to support setting up your desired interface. Select the other solution if you'd like to learn more. For additional information, visit our website or contact us via the information shown here.